my name is Roy Simpson, and I'm a professor of mathematics at Cosumnes River College in Sacramento, California. And this is another proof in my series on proofs in differential calculus. This time we're going to approach hyperbolic functions from the derivative perspective. So in this video we're going to go ahead and prove one of these derivatives here. I will go ahead and prove uh, the one that's often proven in a first year differential calculus course that the derivative of the hyperbolic sine is equal to the hyperbolic cosine. And what you can take away from this is that uh, is how you could do all the other proofs. And there is uh, obviously some prerequisite knowledge required. So we'll just go there and look at that. The prerequisite knowledge that you're supposed to have is obviously derivatives of exponential functions because hyperbolic functions are represented by exponential functions. Uh, so you'll have to know both of those, hyperbolics and derivatives of exponentials. And you should also know the chain rule. And if you're going to do any of the like the tan, the hyper, hyperbolic tangent or um, hyperbolic cotangent, uh, you should probably know the quotient rule as well. All those, obviously, by the time you get to this topic anyway, should already be pretty much in your brain pan. So let's go ahead and hop back here and start our proof of the hyperbolic sine derivative. So I'll start with the derivative uh, with respect to x of the hyperbolic sine of x is the same thing as the derivative with respect to x of the exponential form of the hyperbolic sine, which is e to the x minus e to the negative x over 2. And we know from uh, laws of derivatives, from uh, derivative properties, that this can be broken into the derivative with respect to x of e to the x minus the derivative with respect to x of e to the negative x over 2. And of course the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. And the derivative of e to the negative x is e to the negative x, but we will have to perform a chain rule on that and take the derivative of negative x, which is a negative 1. And now this simplifies down to e to the x plus e to the negative x all over 2. And as you know, that, my friends, is the hyperbolic cosine. There we go. That is the proof. It's probably the fastest proof I have in video form. Uh, I should probably talk for a long time after this, but I'm not going to.